Yeah, that kind of skepticism um, is, is imbued in Brazilians by their own history. Um, you know, we've been here before. Uh, you know, the early years, as, as you mentioned, right? All the, you know, 9, 10, 11% growth rates under Delphine and Anto in, in the military dictatorship. Um, you know, it, it, it's good that people to be skeptical. Um, there's no doubt that there's been this tremendous rise and boom and all these positive words. Um, but, you know, it, I, I, I have the skepticism, but at the same time, I'm happy to see Brazil portrayed in a different way because historically it's always been Samba and the Christ statue and the Bossa Nova um, carnival, uh, you know, that set of images. And this image of a dynamic, prosperous Brazil is, um, you know, a different set of things. It comes with its own, um, you know, caveats. Um, and, and, yeah. In, in class, you're good to emphasize it. It's, it's smart of you to emphasize that as well. Can I just reframe that uh, question to Philip in the sense of how much of all the social improvements and when we see just the data or Gini coefficient, uh, you have, have been doing a lot of field work, how real are the changes? And I think we, we have this old expression of for the English to see, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. A long, long time ago, that things were done just yeah. to for please, sure. for sure, yeah. not real uh, substance. So I was wondering if Philip would like to show us what's your sense of how 